Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is just me an open source channel. Right, in this video, let's uh, look at Kiali web interface for visualizing your Istio components and the uh, traffic uh, that's flowing uh, on the service mesh. So it's a very interesting component. In my previous video, I showed how to uh, add a Grafana uh, to your Istio uh, deployment. And this time you're going to use uh, Istio along with Grafana and with Kiali. So all my previous videos, please go through my previous three videos to get a good understanding of how to deploy the Istio uh, binary and Istio resources in your Kubernetes cluster and also deploying the sample book info application. So I've done uh, those three videos. I'm going to go through very quickly all the commands here and um, let's get started. Okay, so kubectl version minus minus short so I'm on version 1.15.0 I'm running Kubernetes in Docker kind I've done a separate video on that if you want you can follow that video you need to have a Kubernetes cluster Helm installed and then a load balancing solution like Metal LP so all these individual components I've covered in um, a lot in my Kubernetes series so please watch those videos uh, if you want to follow along Okay, kubectl get nodes. So we have three nodes, one master node, two worker nodes. All of them are Docker containers. And I've downloaded Istio. I'm inside the Istio directory here. Samples, install, and everything. So if you want to download Istio, it's curl minus L and the URL. Pipe that to shell, and it will install and download the Istio CTL binary. We haven't started using Istio CTL yet, but we will be using that in the future videos. But to get that to get started, just install. Uh, the Istio components. At least it will give you the uh, Istio directory where they've got all the manifests for this uh, sample applications and Istio deployment. Okay, so let's go ahead and install um, Istio first. Okay, so on my other terminal here, I'm going to watch what resources are being deployed. kubectl n Istio system get all. So at the moment, there is no namespace called Istio system. Uh, which will be created when we deploy the uh, uh, Istio. The, so the first command is helm install under the install directory kubernetes helm istio init. So that's for the istio initialization. Istio init minus minus name is going to be istio init and we are going to deploy that in the istio system namespace. Okay, so it creates three jobs. It prepares your environment for uh, the actual Istio deployment. So this one is just three jobs and it will deploy lots of custom resource definitions. Okay, so while the containers are getting created, while the job is being executed, let's go ahead and look at the second command that we need to um, install Istio. But before that, there is one important step. If you want to deploy Kiali, uh, in your uh, Istio installation, you have to create a secret uh, for username and password. By default, if you don't do that step, creating a secret which contains the username and password to log into the Kiali web interface. Uh, you can, however, do it later after installing uh, Istio and Kiali, uh, but uh, it might not take effect immediately. You might have to delete the Kiali part and then recreate it uh, for the changes to take effect. So it's better. Uh, to create the secret beforehand before creating the Istio. Okay, so for that I'm going to refer to uh, the Istio documentation. Istio Kiali. So Istio, visualizing your mesh. And here, create a secret. So that's the first, se first step. So we are going to set a couple of environment variables and we will be using a secret uh, or a resource deployment to create a secret. So the first one is Kiali username and then Kiali passphrase. So if you're using bash, use these two commands. And if you're using Z shell like mine, you have to use these two commands. Okay, let me copy that one. Control C and then paste it here. So Kiali username, I'm going to leave it as admin. Okay, so Kiali passphrase, copy that and then paste it here. And for passphrase, I'm going to use the same admin as my password okay so namespace is istio system okay so kubectl create namespace uh, istio system we don't have to do that because uh, we've already created the namespace 
kubectl get namespace istio system is there so we are good to run this command cat here document and then this one here okay paste okay clearly secret created if i do kubectl minus n istio system describe secret clearly so we have the uh, clearly secret created which has the username and passphrase. Okay, so now we are good to uh, deploy the actual Istio. So on the bottom pane here, uh, you will see a lot of resources getting created when we deploy Istio in our cluster. Okay, so the command is helm install under the install directory, Kubernetes helm Istio, minus minus name is Istio, and we are going to deploy that under Istio system namespace. Minus minus set grafana dot enabled equals true. So this is what we did in, my, in our previous video to deploy uh, grafana add-on for our uh, Istio deployment. So now I'm going to set another option, kiali dot enabled equals true. Okay, so now we have grafana and kiali uh, added. So as you can see here, there is the Kiali pod and we have the Grafana pod here. So bear in mind Grafana and Kiali are running as a uh, cluster IP servers. Uh, it's not exposed to outside world. So uh, you can either update the Grafana and Kiali servers to be a node port service or you can use port forwarding. Um, I will show both uh, in a moment when it's ready container is getting created. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back in a couple of minutes when all of the resources have been deployed. All right, um, all the resources have been deployed and it's all working fine. So now the next step is to uh, deploy the book info sample application. So control C, I'm going to watch kubectl get all. So we don't have anything in the default namespace. We are going to deploy the book info sample application in the default namespace. So as you remember from my previous videos, the first step is to label the namespace. If you don't label your namespace, um, Istio won't be able to inject the uh, Envoy sidecar into your part, okay? kubectl label namespace default, Istio injection equals enabled, okay? So now we are good to deploy our book info application kubectl create minus f samples book info platform cube book info dot yaml okay so down here you can see uh, details product page ratings and three versions of reviews microservice so if you followed my second video in the um, istio series which is part of kubernetes series um, I've explained about this book info application, what individual microservices, in what language they have been written and so on. So as you can see here, there are two containers in each of these parts. So one is the Envoy sidecar container, the other one is the actual container. So it's gonna take like a couple of minutes. I'm gonna pause the video here and come back when it's ready. So all right, all the parts are running. So the next step is to deploy the gateway uh, because we need to expose these microservices to the outside world. Um, at the moment, it's only accessible within the cluster, so we need to create a gateway, which is a custom resource definition um, deployed by the Istio. kubectl create minus f samples um, book info networking, sorry, uh, I think, yeah, networking book info gateway.yaml. So we have deployed a gateway and a virtual service. And finally, we have to define the destination rules. kubectl create minus F samples book info networking destination rule all.yaml. Okay, so we are good. kubectl minus N Istio system get service Istio ingress gateway. So I've used Metal LB and my external IP is 172.17.0.200. Let's take a look at the application. 172.17.0.200 slash product page. Okay, cool. So we can access the application from outside the cluster. That's good. Okay, so the next thing here is kubectl minus n Istio system get service grafana so grafana is running as type cluster ip and uh, let's look at kiali 
Kiali is also running uh, as a cluster IP uh, on port 20001. So I'm not going to go into Grafana, which I covered in my previous video. So this video is about um, Kiali. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Uh, but before that, I'm going to generate some traffic. So watch curl minus S for silent mode minus O. I don't, I'm not bothered about the output, so I'm directing that to dev null. And I'm looking at 172.17.0200 slash product page. So every couple of seconds, it's sending a request to that application. So we can see the graph uh, in uh, the Grafana or in Kiali. Okay, so now comes the exciting stuff. So how the Kiali web interface is going to look at and what features or what options we have got uh, to look at that. So to access Kiali, um, we can either do port forwarding or edit the service and change the type to cluster IP, sorry, from cluster IP to node port. kubectl minus n istio system, edit service Kiali. And you can change uh, the type from cluster IP to, where is it? Yep. Change the type from cluster IP to node port and you will see the node port uh, and you can access uh, from any of your worker nodes. Or you can simply use port forwarding. Let's do port forwarding. kubectl minus n istio system. Port forward uh, Kiali pod. And then the port is 20001. And I'm forwarding that to 20001 on my local host. Okay. So now we should be able to access the uh, Kiali dashboard. Localhost colon 20001. Okay, cool. So that's our Kiali dashboard. Because I've logged into Kiali before, it didn't ask me for the password. You can see here, I've logged in as admin. So if you want, I can log out. So this is what you will see when you start Kiali or when you visit the Kiali website for the first time. And the username and password is what you set as a secret at the start of this video. So I've set my username to admin and password to admin. There you go. So error fetching Grafana info, Grafana URL. So uh, Kiali also looks at uh, Grafana for graphs. So we need to configure the Grafana URL in Kiali. So you will have that uh, here in this documentation, which I forgot to do. Um, where is it? Yep, minus minus set kiali.dashboard.grafana URL equals http colon grafana colon 3000. So you have to uh, pass that when we did the helm install command um, minus minus set Grafana dot uh, enabled equals true, Kiali dot enabled equals true. And then you also need to pass this one here. So if you had passed this one here, you wouldn't have got that error. Okay, so that's our Kiali web interface. So I'm going to maximize this. Okay, so we have on the left here, we have graph applications, workloads, services, and Istio configuration. So at the moment it's uh, looking at four different namespaces. So this is the default namespace where we have the book info application deployed. And this is the Istio system namespace where we have all the Istio components deployed. Metal LB, that's the namespace where I've deployed my Metal LB and storage. So that's my dynamic NFS storage. So I've deployed that in a separate namespace. Okay, so what else can you see here? You can filter it, um, refresh interval, for how long you need. And there's a little graph here, uh, the traffic flow. So because we have used the curl command to uh, generate some traffic, you can see the graph here. Okay, so if I look at here, the icons here at the bottom, so that one is graph. Second one is application list. Third is workload list. Fourth is service list. And fifth is Istio config list. So these five icons here are exactly the same as the sidebar uh, the links to the sidebar here. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, applications here. Okay, so on the default namespace, we have these applications. These are microservices. We have details, product page, ratings page, reviews page. Okay, workloads. So these are the uh, different workloads and these are the different services. Graph, so that's where it's going to get interesting. As you can see here, the entry point is the ingress gateway. So that's the ingress gateway and the virtual service we defined. And then the entry point is to the product page and the product page sends requests to the details microservice as well as to the reviews microservice. And the reviews microservice 
uh, calls the ratings microservice the version 2 and version 3 if you remember my uh, second video in Istio where I explained about the book info application uh, the version 1 of the reviews microservice doesn't have any ratings so that's version 1 so version 2 calls the ratings microservice and all the rating stars will be in black color and in version 3 all the rating star will be in red color so this is how the traffic actually uh, flows if you want to take a detailed look uh, you can click on the individual components that will give you more insight but before that I'm going to show you uh, what are all the different uh, ways to visualize uh, your workloads app graph okay so that's the app graph it doesn't show you the actual versions so product page is going to details and reviews reviews is going to ratings and you don't see the different versions of the reviews page and if you want to see the different versions, so it is here versioned app graph so that will show you the different versions of your individual microservices and we have service graph this is just about the service not about the uh, workloads and then we have the workload graph if you want uh, to look at the workload view okay so my personal favorite is version the app graph okay so that's one thing so in here uh, edge label so edge is this green line so the the connector between the two components is called edge so we have 11 edges here on this on the right hand side here if you see there are seven apps four services and 11 edges so these are the edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 edges okay on the right here you see uh, some little graph about the HTTP traffic management and the request time and so on okay so labels for the edge request per second so you can see here 0 0.49 requests uh, per second because we are sending one request every couple of seconds in our um, curl command so every two seconds we are sending one request so every second it's about half a request so that's what it shows here 0.5 requests per second or you can change the label to request percentage so 100 percentage of the request is going to product page and 50 percent is going to the details page and 50 percent is going to the reviews and from reviews if you can see here version 1 version 2 version 3 around 30 percentage of each traffic is going to each version of the review space so this is a nice way of viewing your um, traffic flow what percentage of traffic is going to which microservice and so on and another important thing I'm going to show you is the display so what are all the different things that you want to see in your graph and the very important thing is traffic animation so if I select that I'm not sure if you're able to see that very clearly and you can see the traffic flow where the traffic is flowing and if you've got any problem with your uh, service mesh or microservice applications you can see uh, you can visualize it you can visualize your entire traffic here if there is a problem between uh, the traffic going from version 2 to ratings app you will see instead of green green means healthy right so if there is any problem you will see red or orange or some different colors and the traffic won't be flowing so this is a quick animation showing uh, whether the traffic is flowing healthy or not okay so if I want to check any particular component if I want to check for example reviews I click reviews and here on the right hand side if I select reviews so these are the different workloads we have uh, reviews version 1 version 2 version 3 um, created labels and so on we don't have any virtual service destination rules okay so show on graph is what we are going to do delete all traffic routing create weighted routing so I'll be covering all these in my uh, next video probably or in the next couple of videos uh, you can either um, update your manifest or you can dynamically change it on the uh, Kiali web interface itself it's very powerful very easy way to visualize it it has lots of nice features and you can uh, do all sorts of things in here itself in the Kiali web interface okay so graph so that's my favorite um, graph with the traffic animations and so on okay cool so that's the 
that's a quick introduction I won't say quick but an introduction to Kiali web interface and in my next video probably I will show you some uh, request routing example say for example if you want to uh, route your request to a specific version of the reviews microservice for example um, so the moment the product page is going here the product page is requesting reviews and details and the reviews traffic is going to version 1 version 2 version 3 so that's based on our destination rule and in my next video I will show you how to change the percentage of traffic flowing to each of these versions and then based on uh, some of the HTTP headers how to direct the traffic so my next video is all about request routing and traffic management so I will show you both in uh, the command line where editing uh, the actual YAML files and also doing the same thing on the Kiali web interface it makes your life a lot easier but if you want to make it permanent you have to do it on the YAML file uh, because that makes it permanent um, I'm not sure whether updating that in the Kiali web interface makes it permanent I'm not sure let's dig that further in my next video okay so if you've got any questions or any um, feedback please leave me a comment I should be able to get back to you if you like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, those of you who requested me to do this video I'm very grateful to you I'm really really enjoying Istio service mesh this is the first time I'm exploring Istio and it's been very fantastic awesome tool all right I will see you all in my next video bye bye